Hi besties, I am so excited about this video because not only am I using a Dollar Tree item, which is a wall tile, I am also using tin cans. So it's a combination of Dollar Tree and trash to treasure. You are not gonna wanna miss this, so let's get started. I have two tin cans, one smaller than the other, and then I've got this self adhesive wall tile and these two little stems they come in a bag from the Dollar Tree. This wall tile proved to be challenging. I'll explain that as we go. So I've got three Waverly chalk paint colors, plaster, moss, and antique wax, and then I've also got agave in a different container that I transferred it to. I'm going to take off the label from the can. I don't care if there's any residue, it's going to be covered anyway. And then there is a backing on this tile and that white part is the adhesive part. What you don't realize is that it comes apart from the silver part in the front kind of strange. So anyway, I just started hot gluing it around until I get the whole larger can covered. And I did just keep adding the hot glue as I went because it's such a stiff kind of a tile that it wanted to pop off. So I had to keep adding glue and I was holding it the best I could. It does get a little hot, so you have to be careful. I'm going to cut off the excess. Just a regular scissors worked fine for this. And there you see that inner part. It opened right up because I guess it's only sealed around the edges. I had to put a lot of extra glue and going forward, I just took that adhesive backing off and didn't use it at all. And now I'm just going to trim off the top. There are both of them now, and I'm just gonna take a scissors and cut off the excess around the top. I'm gonna use the agave and just kind of paint on the first one, and then I use the moss and do the second one. And I did a pretty decent coat, not perfection. I'm gonna take the antique wax and I'm gonna dry brush it. So putting a little on my brush, wiping most of it off, and then dragging it across the little cans. You know, with those raised up parts of the tile, it really looks cool. And there you go. And of course the cans are upside down now, otherwise you would have a big opening. I'm gonna put some hot glue, a generous amount on each of the little stems and put them on top. And then we have these two cute little rustic pumpkins in you know, non-traditional colors, which is fun to mix in. I've got this gorgeous pick from Walmart. It was a great price and there's a lot on there. So I just took off some leaves and I attached two to each of the pumpkins with some hot glue. And then I'm just gonna take some of the berries and a little bit of um, Spanish moss that I also had from Walmart, and I'm just gonna embellish the top. You know, put them wherever you want. You could do this however you like with whatever kind of picks you like. You could keep it super simple and just do the stems if you want. I think this one turned out very cute. And once I got the tile thing figured out, it was actually very, very easy. And I think they're gonna look gorgeous with any colors you have in your home. Be sure to let me know what you think. I absolutely love these. This tall canister part of its tin and part of its paper it had some like wafer rolls in it and then I've got these little 12 little baby bowls from the Dollar Tree some antique wax by Waverly and then another one of the tiles now I'm just going to cut this along the seam of the tile I'm going to do that on both sides I'm going to have to piece this one together to make it fit so I'm just going to go ahead and figure out how tall it needs to be and trim that off and then match up the other pieces as well now I'm gonna take that adhesive backing off because I know now I don't want it. I'm gonna use a lot of hot glue and I'm just gonna start piecing the tile on top of this little canister, tin canister thing. I'm gonna use a lot of hot glue and just start holding it and give it time to dry so that way it won't pop off while it's still drying. And now I'll just take those remaining pieces and I will line them up and that will cover the entire thing. Now I've got it all on there. I'm gonna take my plaster paint by Waverly and I'm gonna do a really pretty kind of heavy dry brush around the whole thing and then I'll take my scissors and cut around the top any of the excess tile. Now I've got one of those bowls, like I said, and I'm using my X-Acto knife. This is kind of a weird thing, but I'm trying to create little cracks in it. So I'm just popping it in and you see, I made like a pie with little pie pieces and then I was able to rip off each of those pieces. We're making a plastic bag holder. And so first thing is I wanna finish up that edge. I'm gonna take some rope from Dollar Tree. It was like a two strand cord and I just separated one of them and I put it all the way around the edge. 
And then I'm going to do something with that little bowl because it's going to be rough edges otherwise. So I'll show you that in just a second. But right now I'm going to take my moss paint. And I'm going to very generously dry brush over the top of the plaster. I think it's gorgeous. Now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to attach some more of that rope. I'm just going to use the one strand again of the two around the inside of the hole and then I'm going to pull it through and do it on the outside. That way there's no rough edges and it can't rip a bag as you try to pull it out. That's what I realized after I'd cut it. It had some very, very sharp edges. And that's what I'm going to do to that little bowl at this point. I'm going to put my bags inside and then I'm going to put one through the hole at the top and now you'll be able to pull them out one by one. Now I'm going to take this beautiful pick from Walmart. I'm just going to cut off random leaves and berries and whatever I want and just kind of start embellishing. Again, you could do this with whatever you want. You could leave it just as it is. I think just adding this on there made it beautiful. I'm excited to use this. It's going to sit by my craft table because I use plastic bags in my little trash can and this way I'll have them ready to go and it'll be easy to refill because the top is not glued on and I think this is a very functional useful piece but also decorative. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. got another tin can. I've got a floating shelf from the Dollar Tree. This one happens to be black. I went for kind of a black and white look on this. Got a piece of scrapbook paper, I believe from Hobby Lobby, and a little welcome to our home piece that was off something, a sign or something from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to measure and so I can cut the, the size of paper that I need. Then I'm going to rip off the label, which comes off easy, and I don't worry about the residue because you won't see it anyway under the paper. Now I'm going to start hot gluing the paper all the way around until the entire thing covers the can. Thank you for always being so supportive of my channel. The best way that you can help me besides watching is liking, subscribing, and sharing my video. So thank you so much. I just wanted to show you that you could do so many different things with the cans. I'm going to trim off the excess that's on the bottom. And I'm going to take the shelf out of the wrapper. And what's really cool about these shelves is that they actually come with the hardware and instructions. Now, I'm only going to use this as a little stand. I'm not going to put it on the wall for this. But I, I just wanted it to match and kind of sit there on it. I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint and I'm just going to paint the bottom and then that little silver part at the top and a little bit on the inside because I don't want you to see any of the can, you know, once everything is done. I'm going to paint the back of that little cardboard sign just because you will see it because it hangs off the edge of the can. I'm going to dry it off with my heat tool from Amazon and all my Amazon supplies that I love are always in my Amazon store in my description box below so feel free to check it out. I'm going to put some hot glue on the middle of that little sign and attach it right to the front of the can. Isn't that cute? Very farmhouse looking. And what I like about this is we'll be able to change out the florals for any season. So I'm going to add some Spanish moss in there just to kind of fill it. And then this gorgeous pick from Walmart that I got. This thing is going to last forever. There's so many things on it and a bunch of different color leaves. That's what really attracted me to it. And I'm just going to cut off pieces and start putting them in there, you know, different leaves. And then I've also got this kind of like, I don't know if it's a chrysanthemum. It's a white flower. It's from a different arrangement that I took apart. And I just put that in there to kind of make it a little bit different. And I'm just going to fill around the edges with the Spanish moss because that way you won't be able to see inside and it's really nice when these kind of little planter things are just nice and full and you know just all the different textures and colors I find that to be super interesting of course you can decorate this any way you want and like I said when fall is over I can pull these out and add something for winter and then for spring and summer and so forth I think this is going to be a really nice versatile piece in my house and I'm not going to glue this the tin can on to the little shelf because I want to have that flexibility too, but I sure do love the way it looks. It's almost like a riser. You have to let me know what you think. This one might be my favorite. My friends, I want to invite you to come with me to a crafty cruise getaway with four other channels here from YouTube where you can enjoy beaches and sand and tons and tons of crafting inspiration. This ship has so many amenities that you are going to just have a blast. Plus, you get to connect with other crafters. But here's the thing. Space is very limited. So make sure you go to craftycruisegetaway.com to get all the information that you need. Everything is linked down below in the description box. 
if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I like functional DIYs. So I've got three cans, and then I found this at a thrift store. It was only $2, and it's, I guess it's like a cutting board. I, you know, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> anyway, I've also got a little piece of foam that I cut off. I'm going to remove all of the labels on all three cans. Then I'm going to take my Agave Chalk Paint by Waverly and my Moss Chalk Paint by Waverly and my Plaster Chalk Paint by Waverly. I'm going to paint all three cans a different color. And there you go, the power of video. <laughs> anyway, I have them all painted now. And I've got this beautiful ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna cut a piece that's long enough to wrap around all three cans. First, I'm gonna take a little teeny piece of twine from the Dollar Tree and just tie it around so that way the cans stay together. I decided not to glue them. I guess I just wanted a little bit of flexibility there. I'll just cut off the little excess pieces as well. Now I will go ahead and attach that ribbon right over the little piece of twine. You'll never see the twine and it just gives it something to kind of stick to. There you go. It's kind of neutral and that was my goal here. I got this little chrysanthemum flower, I think it is. I'm just gonna hot glue it right on the wider side of the cans. Now I'm gonna hot glue that little piece of foam right onto that circle indented part of this little cutting board. I wanted to have a place to stick flowers that where you could change them up. So I've got this pick from Walmart that's gorgeous and it just keeps giving and giving so many options. And I'm just cutting little pieces, putting them in. Once I get the height that I want and kind of the look, I'm gonna cut some leaves and I'm gonna put them on the underneath to cover up. And I'm gluing everything or, or sticking everything into the foam. And that way it's easy to remove and I can change this out for any season. And right now, because it's fall coming up, I want this one to look like fall. So when you have people over and you wanna have utensils and things out, you can use this for forks, knives, and spoons. And that little gap between the florals and the cans is where you can set your napkins. And I just thought this would be so cute so it's pretty and it's functional and I do love doing that I love the concept of making things useful we have so many decor pieces in our homes and sometimes it gets kind of crowded and I was thinking you know what let's do something that's beautiful and useful I'm going to put some hot glue on the very bottom of the cans this will make it easy to remove later if I want to I'm just going to set them down and honestly, that's how easy this one was. I just thought it was so cute and such a fun idea. And you could do this any way you want for, you know, any time of the year. You could make it like ordinary type decor so it doesn't have to be changeable for seasons. It could just be beautiful and you could use it anytime. Either way, I love it and I hope you guys like it too. Thank you for watching. You are truly a blessing to me. Let me know which one was your favorite today. Don't forget to check out the link from the website about the Crafty Cruise Getaway. It's down in my description box below. I know you will have so much fun and I really hope you will check it out and consider going. I've got another video on the screen that I think you'll really like. So if you click on it, I will see you there. Bye.